man. I really wanted to start this year off on a positive note, you know, just like push away all the negativity, only focus on the happy thoughts, only focus on the things that I'm thankful for, you know, like my friends, my family, my dog, my girlfriend, you guys, of course, all that stuff, right? Because 2020 was just such a garbage year. And for this one day, for the first day of 2021, I wanted to keep it positive. But Bandai and Akatsuki have really made it impossible to do that, you know? And if you guys have been like me, you've been taking a hiatus from social media like Reddit, Instagram, Twitter, so on and so forth for the last like 12 hours because you've been celebrating the new year with your family and friends, then let me explain to you exactly what's going on, okay? And I know that every once in a while people will cry global shaft and it's not necessarily justified, right? But this one is as real as a global shaft we have ever had in the history of this game, okay? Like, I don't know how you could justify it or, you know, call it anything else. Okay, so basically, last night, the New Year's Step Up banner dropped on both Global and JP, right? JP first and then Global later. And when I first saw the Global banner, I was like, okay, it looks pretty good. I mean, it was missing a few units that was on the JP banner, but that's to be expected, right? I mean, it's always been like this when Global and JP get simultaneous banners like this for, you know, the download celebration or whatever. The JP banner usually has a few more of the newer units. And I was like, okay, I accept that. Not a problem. And then I summoned on the banner, pulled a couple of LRs I needed. I was good. But then recently, a couple hours ago, it was brought to my attention that on the global side, they actually messed with a unit. And this unit is arguably the most desirable unit that's available on both banners. LR Ultra Instinct Goku. And you might be like, yo, what are you talking about, man? Yo, he's clearly on the global banner. You can pull him as a guaranteed LR. And that's true. He is available. But not in the same way that he's available on the JP banner. Okay? Because on the JP banner, you can pull LR UI Goku on any of the steps, right? Like as an unfeatured LR, he's available on step one, step two, step three, step four, and obviously on step five you can get him as a guaranteed LR. On the global side, and this is not advertised at all, this is not something that you can find in the news. I've looked multiple times to see if like they mentioned anything about this, if there was like a note somewhere saying that this was a thing and, and it's not available. Like they didn't say anything about it. So you could argue it's false advertising. But anyways, on the global side, LR Ultra Instinct Goku is only pullable, is only summonable as a guaranteed LR in the 10th slot of the fifth step of each round. Okay, so if you thought that maybe you could get an extra LRUI Goku on step three or step four or step one, nah, you can't. He's only available as a guaranteed LR on step five, which means that you only, as a global player, have three chances to pull him, and each time it's one out of 15 as the guaranteed LR. Now, why is that an issue? Why are global players so upset about it? I mean, first of all, it's just unfair, right? I mean, how come on the JP side, they can pull him in any slot, you know, throughout all five rounds, whereas for global, you can only get him as the guaranteed LR. That's one issue. The second issue, and I think the thing that actually pisses people off more, is the fact that LRUI Goku was a global first unit. He came out on global a couple weeks before it came out on JP. So if anything, if they were gonna do this to one version of the game, it shouldn't be global. If anything, it should be JP, right? Since he came out on JP after global. I mean, I'm not saying that I want them to do that for JP. I don't think it should be a thing on either version. I'm just saying it makes much less sense to do something like this for global than for JP since he was a global first, right? Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that he is the only LR that this applies to. Okay, every other LR, LR Nappa, Kellen Khalifla, Goku and Frieza, so on and so forth, can be pulled on the other steps, 
as a unfeatured LR, LR Ultra Instinct Goku is the only one that can't be pulled anywhere except for the 10th slot of the 5th step. And that just makes everything much worse because clearly it was intentional. And I don't want to make this about, you know, global versus JP because I've never had any ill will towards the JP side. You know, in fact, I play both global and JP. I just happen to play the global side more. And this is just something that has happened more than once. And they got to stop doing this. You know, we've got to do something about it. Like, I don't know exactly what we can do. And originally, I wasn't going to make this video because I was like, what's the point, man? Look, they've done this before and they're not going to listen to a small channel like me, but I still have to try. You know, even if you feel like the odds of any change happening is just astronomically low, you still got to try, right? So I'm going to make this video. I'm hoping that a Bandai spy out there finds it and actually takes some of these words into consideration for future banners because it just is so stupid man i mean that's the only way i can explain it like it's just it's just dumb it makes no sense ui goku is only available as the guaranteed lr on step five and that's it you can't pull him on any of the other slots for any of the other steps and also one other thing is that after you're done your rounds right after you're completely done with the step ups and it becomes a normal banner like this He's not even in the unfeatured pool. So if I do like a thousand multis on this banner right now, I have no chance of pulling a single copy of LRUI Goku. Whereas on the JP banner, once it becomes a regular banner, they can still pull copies. Even though it's very unlikely, JP players still have a chance to pull LRUI Goku on this banner once they're done their step ups. And it just does not make any sense to me. It doesn't. UI Goku came out on Global first. And once again, man, I think this can be considered false advertising mainly because they put him on the banner, but they don't tell you at all that he's not available on any of the steps except for the fifth step. And even then, he's only available in the 10th slot as a guaranteed LR. And that's it. You know, like if that's going to be something they do, they gotta make it clear before people spend their hard-earned stones that they farmed or purchased with real money to try and pull LRUI Goku. And let's be honest, man, that guy is literally the main draw of the banner, all right? Like, as good as some of the other LRs are, as good as the category leads are, that's fine. But most people want LR Ultra Instinct Goku as a unit and as a character, right? So I just feel like they did us dirty, man. And for no good reason, you know, like if there was a legit reason for why they had to handle UI Goku like this, I might understand it more, but there is literally no reasonable explanation for why they did this. Except for the fact you can say, we like JP better and we want to make global players suffer. You know, <laughs> and man, that that's just not cool. That's just not cool. And like I said, this is not the first time it's happened, right? There was that whole tech LR Broly fiasco from last year with the LR Androids banner during the 300 million download celebration, right? And the issue with that banner for Global was that tech LR Broly wasn't in the unfeatured pool, but he was in the unfeatured pool for JP, even though tech Broly was once again, a global first unit and a lot of people were upset about that understandably and I thought that after that whole fiasco after so many people sent emails into Bandai you know complaining about it and they even responded to that email I thought they would learn from their mistakes but clearly they didn't because here we are again man more than a year later right same thing and with an arguably, once again, more hype unit, a unit that more people wanted, a unit that people summon on this banner specifically to get. And now we find out that your rates to actually pull him were much lower than you would have expected. And it was not advertised at all. It was not something that they warned us about. It was just something that they secretly implemented. And that's just dirty, man. That's not okay. And we shouldn't be okay with it. 
you know i've had some people tell me who cares man it is what it is just accept it and i'm like nah man <laughs> even if we can't do anything about it we shouldn't accept it okay we should not be okay with it just because you don't think they're gonna make any changes doesn't mean you shouldn't speak up you shouldn't complain and you shouldn't have your voice heard that's just my opinion okay so yeah guys that's pretty much all i gotta say um bandai do better man they gotta do better for the global players look i'm not saying that jp doesn't get screwed sometimes but it does feel like the global side disproportionately gets screwed more i mean you guys can debate me on that you can dispute that but that's just how i feel man that's just how i feel and uh i hope they respond i really hope they respond just like last time i mean last time when they responded all they said was we meant to shaft you guys essentially they were like yeah tech broly isn't on the global banner but it's not a mistake it's not an error we meant to not include him so yeah sucks to be you and even if it's that even if we get a response like that i still want to see it okay i still want to see them acknowledge what they did and i don't know you always hope they learn from it you always hope they make changes they might not maybe they will we'll have to see but at least we got to try something right we can't just sit back and just accept it so that's all i gotta say guys that is today's rant video i didn't want to start the year like this but i had to i had to say something and uh of course let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this what are your thoughts are you guys pissed off are you guys you know indifferent whatever it may be man let me know by the way happy new year or as happy as it can be for a global player right now and uh i'll see you guys in the next video as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button hit that notification bell too and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out